morning. Happy Sunday morning. I'm doing something a little different with my sound. So tell me if it sounds any different to you. If it sounds the same, fine. If it's different, just send me a message in the chat window and I'll adjust. Thanks for joining. Hi, Lilia. You are going on day, gosh, it must be day 11 of yoga. And I bet you have learned a lot. In fact, I know you've learned a lot. And you're gonna learn more. You're gonna become a yoga expert, a yoga pro. Sunday morning. All right. Well, I guess it's just us, which is awesome because I'm going to try out a Sunday flow. Oh, Jackie and Ellie, I'm so glad you guys made it. Welcome to class. And I'm sorry. I didn't get to say hi to you yesterday. I was thinking that after class, I knew that you guys had joined, but I'm so happy to see you. Hi, Melissa. You guys just finished baking cookies. That's so cool. Yum, I would love one of your cookies right now. And I know Lilia was baking a hala on Friday. So we've got a lot of bakers and a lot of yogis in this class, so that's so awesome. Jackie and Ellie, I was just telling uh, Lilia and Jeff and Sarah that we are doing, oh, KP, welcome, welcome to class. Awesome, okay, Sunday morning. I don't know about where you guys are in the world, but where I am in Vermont, it is raining. It is a rainy, cloudy, kind of gloomy day. And I went outside for my walk this morning and I put on my poncho and I put on my hat and I had my bra and I was standing in the rain and it actually felt pretty good. It felt nice to be in the rain, but also I was thinking to myself, this is a day for some slow, slow yoga. That means to just move our bodies really slowly and really carefully and really with intention. That means we're thinking about what we're doing the whole time. And we're just gonna use our bodies to just settle into this rainy Sunday. Maybe where you are in the world, it's bright and sunny and you feel like you have some playful energy. That's good too. You can do a little bit of slow flow yoga and then maybe you can do some energizer poses. So that's what we're gonna do today. So make sure you have your water bottle and maybe your yoga rock and come meet me over on the mat. So great to see you guys here. I'm trying something a little different with the audio today. So parents, if you're having any trouble hearing me, just send me a message in the chat window and I'll try and adjust. All right. Oh, let's stretch our bodies out. I always feel like when it's rainy, my body just feels a little, a little tighter, like there's a little like some cobwebs in there. So I just want to shake the cobwebs out. Reach all the way up. Take a deep breath in. Bring your feet together. Uh, and turn one side to the right. I'll face you so you can see. Stretch the whole side of your body. Deep breath in. Uh, Stretch the other side of your body. Come all the way up. Deep breath, come into mountain pose. Your strong mountain pose on a rainy day. This feels so good. Make sure your neck is straight, your back is straight, your shoulders are rolled back, your hands are stiff, your legs are strong, 
Your feet are planted into the ground. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. Let's do an extra breath in our mountain pose today. Deep breath in. And let it out. Make sure your shoulders are nice and loose. And drop your body into ragdoll. And swing to the right. And swing to the left. And swing to the right. And swing to the left. And stop. And shake your head out. Nod it yes. Shake it no. And roll your body up. One vertebrae, those are the bumps in your back at a time. The last thing to come up comes your head. Roll your shoulders back. Lift your head. Take one ear to your shoulder, and we're going to stretch our neck now. So do a half circle to your neck. And back the other way. Make sure you're taking those deep breaths. Deep breath in. And all of it out. Deep breath in. And all of it out. And now we're going to bring our shoulders to our ears three times. Count it with me. One, two, three. Do you guys know what's next? I bet you remember what's next. I'll remind you. It involves pulling and yell it out if you remember. Pushing. We're going to pull and we're going to push to make strong arms. Here we go. Hands up. And lift your hands and pull, 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 pull them. Ooh, shake it out. I actually felt that today in my shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Link them and pull, and pull, 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 pull as hard as you can. <sighs> Take a deep breath out. Now that we've pulled, we're going to push. Deep breath in. Clasp your hands, or clap your hands and push, push, push. Push them together. <sighs> Shake it out. One more, deep breath in. Push them together, push, push. Shake it out. Give it a little shake. Give your body a little shake. Maybe you want to dance if you have music on. Maybe you feel like you're dancing a little bit of music. Maybe shake your hips. Awesome. Maybe shake your head. Maybe shake your feet. Awesome. We got a little bit of dance moves going on. Cool. Reach up. Drop down. We're going to actually come down to our mat. Take a seated pose on your mat. <sighs> Take a deep breath out. Breathe in. Any stress, any anxiety, any nerves that you have felt this week or this weekend, breathe it in. <sighs> and let it all out. Say goodbye. Let it all go. Take another deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Bring your hands to heart center. Let's do a rainbow breath. Deep breath in. Another deep breath in. Take one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Let's do a big belly breath. We're going to do this three times together. And I'm going to count it quietly, but I want you to count either in your head or out loud. Take a deep breath in. Get it out. Number two, deep breath in. Let it out. One more time, deep breath in. Let it out. Do a little bit of a shoulder circle. Just kind of stretch your shoulders out. 
And if you are going backward, maybe come forwards. Make sure you're breathing with your circles. Deep breath in. Awesome. Let's come on to all fours. That means our hands and our knees are touching the mat. We are going to do our cat and our cow, and then we're gonna move into a nice gentle flow. So make sure you have your high five hands, plant them in the mat, see if you can feel the mat under your feet. See, I'm kind of stomping my feet, see if you can feel that. Your hands are under your shoulders, your knees are on the ground. Maybe kind of just do like a little wag, wag your tail. Do a little wag. Now right here, make sure you have a nice, strong, straight flat back. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. On that next deep breath, come into your cat pose. Deep breath in. Let it out. Deep breath in. Let it out. Last one, deep breath in. Let it out. Reach one hand all the way up to the sky and thread that needle. Take one hand up in the sky and you're gonna thread it under the other arm. Reach it up and it's gonna go under your straight arm and bring your shoulder and your ear down to the mat. This is called thread the needle. It's like you're threading one arm under the other arm. You're getting a nice side stretch, nice shoulder stretch. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Another deep breath in. Let it out. Push with your hand that's on the mat. Bring your arm all the way up and place it on the mat in front of you under your shoulder. Next, whatever we do on one side, we always do on the other so that we feel balanced during class. So I did this on my right side, now I'm gonna do it on my left side. Reach all the way up, deep breath in, and thread the needle. Can you see my hand is going up and then it's going under my hand that's still on the mat. Place your ear, place your face, place your hand, place your shoulder to the mat, and take a deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And let it out. Last one, deep breath in. And let it out. Take your hand all the way up and bring it back on the mat to meet your other hand. We're gonna come into our child's pose. You can do your child's pose with your hands out in front of you. Or you can bring your hands behind you into rock pose. Whatever feels most comfortable for you today. And it could be something that didn't feel comfortable yesterday and now is comfortable today. Because that's kind of how our bodies work. It feels different every day. And if you listen to your body to know what feels good, you'll be able to take care of your body. So today I'm feeling like I want to be in rock pose. My forehead is touching the ground. I can actually even feel the mat under my nose. And take a deep breath in. Ah, and out. Take your hands. Walk them out so that they are almost to the edge of your mat. So you're kind of like doing a little bit of a stretch right here, kind of like a a dog or a cat might do a little bit of a stretch. But we're gonna come up into our downward dog. So take your toes and plant your toes on the mat so that I can feel the mat under all five of my toes. And when I take a deep breath in and I take it out, I'm gonna push my body up into downward dog. Let's try this again. Take a deep breath in. Ah, and out, and you push your body into downward dog. 
Now, downward dog. My body is kind of making a triangle. You can see I'm planted, my hands in front of me on the mat, my toes are planted in front of me. My heels are up, but maybe if your body allows for it, your heels are touching the mat. Your hands are straight, your fingers are spread open wide. Can you feel the mat under your thumb and under your index finger and under your middle finger and under your ring finger and under your pinky? All 10 fingers are touching the mat and you're pushing your body back, you're stretching your body out. Maybe you do downward dog with bended knees. A lot of times I do bended knees because I want to make sure that my back is nice and flat. Whatever works for you today is the right way to do it. There is no wrong way unless it's for your body. Pedal your feet out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. One more deep breath in and exhale out. We've done this before. We're gonna go into our chaturanga. That means our body is stiff. We are in plank pose. It's like, it's like we're in a plank. We're like a piece of wood plank. And we're gonna slowly lower our body down and we're gonna lift it up into upward dog. Upward dog, and this is a great stretch for your back. Make sure your shoulders are back. Your arms are straight, your feet are touching the ground, and maybe if you're feeling like you want to take a little bit of a yoga challenge, lift your body up so that you're bouncing on the top of your feet. Lift your body up. Come back into downward dog. Take a deep breath in. Ah, let it out. In downward dog, we're going to do one more tricky pose that might be new to some of you. And if you try it and you fall out of it, no problem. Just come back in. Lift one leg up. And bring it inside between your fingers. You're balancing on one foot. Lift it up again. This is called a one-legged dog. And lift it. Lift it up. And maybe in your one-legged dog, you want to take a really tricky, tricky pose. You might want to flip your dog into wild thing. Come all the way up. Let's do it with the other side. Take your left leg up. Deep breath in. Bring it between your hands, deep breath in. And maybe if you're in your one-legged dog and you want to take something tricky for this Sunday morning, flip it, flip it. And now I can see you guys. Beautiful. Okay, let's come back into our chaturanga which means we're doing our plank pose all the way down to upward dog. Take a deep breath. Oh. And come into that child's pose. And that was some really tricky sequencing, but I know the students who are in class today have been coming to class every single day for over two weeks. And you guys are ready to take your yoga to the next level. Deep breath in, let it out. Deep breath in, let it out. Come to a seated pose again on our mat. Oh, we did a lot of work with our body. We did a little bit of balancing. We did a little bit of back bending. We did a lot of flow. So let's take a moment to come into our butterfly and just stretch our legs out, stretch our back out. Deep breath in. Bring that nose down to your toes. Nice stretch in the hamstring. Maybe you feel it in your calves. Maybe you feel it in your back. Take 
deep breath in. Oh. Bring your hands to heart center. Deep breath in. Open your hands and bring your nose to your knees. Bring your nose to your knees and take a deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Ah, come all the way up. Take your nose to your other knee. Whatever we do on one side of yoga, we always do on the other. Just take your nose to your knee. Bring your head down. Take a deep breath here, deep breath in. And deep breath out. Stretch your legs in front of you. And just shake out your knees. Shake out your knees. Maybe you want to put your hands on top of your knees. You can feel your knees in your hands. You just want to do privately, whatever feels right for you today is exactly what you should be doing. Reach all the way up. Ah. And then touch your toes. Maybe your body can go all the way down to your knees. Maybe your body just stays right here. Any way you do it is just right because all of our bodies are different and can do different things. Take one foot. Inside, bend one foot, make your other foot nice and straight, kind of making an L shape with your legs. Turn and face your knee and give it a stretch. Take a deep breath in. And out. Bring your feet together. Bring your feet together. And now we're going to straighten the other leg and we're going to bring the other leg. Deep breath in. Ah. Awesome. Come all the way up. And do one more shake with your knees. Thank you for flowing with me. It's now the time of class where we are going to go into Shavasana. We're going to take our resting posture. Our bodies worked actually extra hard today. So we're gonna take the time for Shavasana to just relax and calm our bodies so that our heart catches up with our body, catches up with our mind, and we feel totally balanced going into our Sunday afternoon. So parents, if you can turn down the lights or pull the shades, find your yoga rock. If you have a yoga rock or if you have a special stuffed animal or you have something that you want to relax with, Take that, find it, and meet me on your mat, on your back. I lit a candle today, and it's so nice. It feels, it feels so cozy in my studio. I can hear the rain outside, and I put a little bit of lavender essential oil so it smells really nice in my studio. I have my yoga rock right here to come to the end of my mat. So nice and straight. I'm gonna roll my back down. I'm gonna feel those vertebrae, those little bumps on my back, those bones, stretch your feet out. Do a little stretch with your arms, reach above over your head. <sighs> Deep breath in. And out. If you have a yoga rock, put it on your forehead. I challenge you to keep that yoga stone balance. I challenge you to stay so still during this minute of Shavasana that your yoga rock doesn't even fall. But if it does, no problem. Pick it up. Put it back in your forehead. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. Deep breath in. And let it out. Deep breath in. And let it out. One more deep breath in and let it out. 
but one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Take a deep breath in through your nose and fill an invisible balloon in your belly. And when you breathe out of your mouth, let all of the air out of that balloon. Take a deep breath in. Fill up the balloon. Ah. Take a deep breath in. Uh, one more deep breath in. Let it out. Give your body a few moments to take some breath on its own. Your yoga rock is still balanced on your forehead. Take one hand and grab that yoga rock in your palm of your hand. Roll over to one side. Take a deep breath here. Take one hand, push your body all the way up to seated pose. Come to a seated pose on your mat. Bring your hand to heart center. We're going to end class the way we always end class with the word namaste, which to me means I give my heart to you. So take your hand up to your third eye and thank your brain for thinking strong thoughts. Take your hands to your lips and thank your lips for speaking kind words and take your hands to your heart and together we'll bow. Namaste. Mm. Thanks everyone for joining us. It was so good to see you, Jackie and Ellie and KP and Lilia. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. And I'll see you tomorrow in class. Bye, guys.